This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. What do you think? I, well, what's wrong with that? What do you think old Paul Bosch would have thought of this creative back in the day? <laughs> uh, yeah. Prob- well, hang on. Hey, okay. Thank you for asking that. Okay. Do you know where the first coffin match was? I'm going to guess it was somewhere in Texas. It was it. Oh, fuck. Oh shit. I tried to stand up and I got my earphones and my foot stepped on the cord and almost took my head off. The first coffin match was in Houston, Texas. You know who participated in that motherfucker? Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes was one of them. You know who his opponent was? Ivan Koloff. Oh, fuck you. You looked it up. No, I knew that. I didn't look up anything. Yeah, don't hold your hands up after you look at it. No, how would I have looked it up? I just knew that. And I swear I knew that just because. I was trying to find what boots Dusty was wearing there because I thought I may have had them once. That's the only reason I knew. But how would you know that if if you didn't look it up? I, I looked it up back then. I didn't look it up now. Back when? Buddy, I Wait, guessed him. So that was first. So Paul Bosch had the first casket match. Yeah, I get it. But then when Dusty lost, did he go to like Ivan's house and set his parents' caskets on fire? Or, or he tried to. Did he? Okay. He tried to, but at the time, Russian, Russia wasn't allowing Americans into the country. Now that makes sense. Yeah. So, so there, and you want to hear a good story about that? Not really. So, okay. Well, good. You're going to, there's a pallbearer union. What? There's a pallbearer union. There's no wrestler and union, but there's a pallbearer. Pall <laughs> <laughs> you can't make this shit up. The motherfucking pallbearers. Listen to you. The fucking pallbearers union showed up and said that they couldn't, that you couldn't have someone take the casket on or off without having like a pallbearer. This is like one of those antiquated fucking deals. Like, you know, you couldn't buy a casket until like sometime in the nineties. There's no pallbearers union. I ain't buying that. There sure as fuck was in Texas. I thought it was like a volunteer thing from people who knew him or whatever. Thank you. So did I. So, I mean, you find this shit out when you have a goddamn coffin match. Paul bears union. You can't get a casket because they don't fucking sell them to private citizens. So you got to build a pine box. Hang on. What is it? The funeral directors association. No, it was like Paul bears union. These motherfuckers demanded that they had to walk the casket out because you can't do it and all this shit. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Holy shit, dude. They have an annual convention for the, uh, Texas funeral directors association. It's, yeah. at, it's at the Sheraton, by the way, if you're curious over in, uh, the, uh, esports stadium in Arlington. See that. So do we want to go? I mean, we could exhibit, we could attend, or we could be a sponsor. Can you just be a spectator? Oh yeah. We can attend. Oh, does that mean be a spectator? Yeah, that's what that's okay. what that means. Well, how's this for a different presentation? Undertaker and Paul Bear kidnap Stone Cold and they go to embalm him in the run up to their buried alive match. <laughs> Were you shooting this? Is this this year? I did not shoot that. No, I didn't. Well, there's a infamous clip now where Bill Moody, aka Paul Bear, is just screwing around. And so as Austin is laying on the slab and they're pretending like they're about to embalm him. He says, let's start here or whatever. And goes to pull down Austin's trunks. And Austin goes from playing like he's knocked out to wide awake. What the fuck are you doing? It's great stuff. You got to have a little living, a little ha ha from time to time. So I, I just need to hear, what does it sound like when, when you guys in a booking meeting are sitting around, what if we embalmed him? Well, what would you do? I mean, of course you have to embalm. You got a goddamn Paul Bear and a dead man. You got to embalm people. Could you do it without the union being involved? I don't know about the embalmers union, but okay. I tell you what, you didn't notice there were any Paul Bearers involved. Well, there, there was Paul Bear, but that's more Bear comma Paul than yeah. it is Paul Bear. Right. Uh, we should mention before we get too deep in this Ministry of the it's Darkness. Differently. Yeah, sure, a little bit. There's a U and whatnot. Uh, Austin Hogan 
Goldberg and undertaker all on the covers of TV guide to WCW top guys to WWF top guys. It makes a lot of sense. Austin Hogan Goldberg. Was it an obvious choice from the WWF side? We want the other one to be taker. Was anyone else even considered? I'm sure there were, you know, probably rock was considered. There are probably a lot of people considered, but th- this was when you look at being on the newsstand with other guys, who would you want to pick? You'd want to pick somebody that's going to really grab their eye and take her with somebody that, that was just that. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.